is in process of implementing warehouse management, basic setups must be completed to make sure that the system works for the company business needs. So before setting up warehouse management and Dynamics 365 finance and operations, we have different setups to be completed before setting up warehouse management. So one of them are, is the storage dimension groups, tracking dimension groups, unit sequence groups, inventory statuses, item groups, and block management profiles. Let's have a look on each of them one by one. Right now, I'm showing you the storage dimension groups on the screen. Storage dimension groups are, are the inventory uh, dimensions that are used to determine inventory storage information for your items. How you will be st you will store or retrieve your inventory items, you can set up multiple storage dimension groups to fit the needs of your business. For example, you may have some products that are stored by site and the warehouse, and you have some other items that are stored by site, warehouse, and the location. Storage dimension groups from where you will be going to there is the product information management and then uh, the setup then the dimension uh, and variant groups and beneath that you will find the storage dimension groups so here you have five different dimensions which can be used as a storage dimension so you can use any combination of these five and in, if, in case if you want to activate the warehouse management processes for the storage dimension, then you will have, you, you must at least uh, configure one active uh, storage dimension for, for that storage dimension group. The inventory status is used to divide inventory into categories such as available, not available. It is also in, can block certain activities in case certain items are not available in the inventory. For example, if you are you want to prevent a worker from picking the items for any orders, use the inventory blocking feature which prevents the use of items that are not available. We will be discussing these inventory statuses in detail uh, in the second session but for, uh, for now, uh, if you want to store, uh, use the inventory status as the storage dimension it is available for, uh, for for being used. Next is the tracking dimension group. So it is available in the same uh, module product information management uh, setup dimension group dimension variant groups and the tracking dimension group. The tracking dimension groups are used in the supply chain management to enable you to keep track of your items in your facilities. For example, you can track your items by serial number, batch number, and the ownership. So these three tracking dimensions are available to be grouped in any tracking dimension group. Batch number or serial numbers can be used if you have items that are unique or you would like to track your items on a single item basis. Uh, like if you want to track the individual items, you will go with the with the serial numbers. Batch numbers can be used for group of items. In, in batch number, you can contain multiple items, but for serial number, there must be one-to-one -one relationship. The batch numbering is also beneficial for tracking issues with production or shipping. Ownership can be used if you are storing items that are owned by a third party and not your organization. So if you are uh, you're, uh, like working with the, with the consignments, so these dimension can be activated and in it will not uh, basically it will not give you the whole picture of the consignment but it will just show you that uh, these items are not owned by your organization and the ownership of these items is uh, some third party then if you activate the serial numbers then you will have uh, like let me select the serial number activated yeah so here when i activate the serial number then i have serial number controls which are applicable to the serial numbers. So the controls can, I can configure when to capture my serial number based on this criteria. You can select none, you can select picking, you can select packing. Let me edit this, yeah. So here you can see that when to capture, uh, I can uh, assign that to picking and to packing, or I can uh, assign to none. Next is a register serial number. If I have some process for uh, registering the serial number before consumption, so I will be simply activating this control. Next is the serial number control, which means that if my items are uh, uh, must not be less than zero or equal to zero, then I will put the serial number control uh, 
to my serial numbers. X is the unit sequence number. A unit sequence group must be associated to any item that has a storage dimension group that uses warehouse management. So for any of the, so it's a dependent, uh, dependent, dependent configuration that any item which uses which has been assigned to the storage dimension which uses warehouse management processes for that item you must specify let's say uh, we have a where uh, storage dimension group where we have activated the use management warehouse processes so the items which will be assigned to this uh, storage group those items must have a pre-configured inventory unit sequence group a unit sequence group defines the sequence of units that can be used in the warehouse operations. The sequence determines the order of units in which warehouse work is generated and it is applied when work is created for quantities on a purchase order line or transfer order line. The unit sequence group should include units of measure that range from the smallest to the largest. So it's the basic principle is that you will be uh, grouping the items from smallest to the largest. So if you are using, say, the uh, the, the number of uh, unit of measures, uh, say, uh, up to one ton, so you will be grouping from the one, one kg, 10 kg, 20 kg, 30 and 40 kg. Then you will, will be specifying all those uh, sequences within your unit sequence number group. The important features of unit sequence groups are each unit of measure can be selected if you will allow that unit to be used in the cycle counts. You can select unit of measure as default unit for purchase orders, production or material consumption. You can specify a default container type of the unit. If you want to receive an item larger than a, than a pallet size and have it grouped select the license plate grouping field if this option is not selected every single item above the pallet pallet unit will be assigned would be assigned to its own separate license plate so let's have a look on the unit seekers group as well my default number unit for purchasing and transferring is the pallet and my default unit for production is my each and then the default unit for material consumption isn't selected but if i want to uh, select that uh, for material consumption, uh, I can select any of them, like I, I'll be consum consuming in boxes, I am consuming in each item, and I, I, or either I am consuming in pellets.